Mama! Mama, quick! Under my window in the bushes, they're hurting someone frightfully. Oh, I'm sure they all come along. Well, if you won't come, I'll go myself. Wait, Edith. I must tell you something. It'll be a terrible shock, I'm afraid. A man we trusted as a friend has shown himself a treacherous conspirator against us. Who? Who is it? It is the gentleman, Miss Varney, whose attentions you have been pleased to accept in the place of mine. Is it Mr. Arrowsford that makes this accusation? Yes, if you wish to know. From the first I have... Where are you going? For Captain Thorne. Not now! Mr. Arrowsford, if this is something you're afraid to say to him, don't you dare say it to me. Miss Barney! If he has good reasons for not meeting Captain Thorne now, I should think he had. The man that said that to his face wouldn't live to speak again. My dear, you Mama, this man has left his desk at the War Department to have the pleasure of persecuting me. He's never attempted anything in the active service before. And now when I ask him to face the man he accuses, he turns like a coward. Mrs. Barney, if she thinks for I one think moment. nothing. I know a man of Captain Thorne's character is above suspicion. His character? Where did he come from? Who is he? Who are you? That's not the question. Neither is it the question who he is. If it were, I'd answer, I'd tell you, he is a soldier who has fought and been wounded for his country. We're well, not so very sure of that. He brought us letters from General Stonewall Jackson. General Jackson was killed before his letter was presented. What does that signify if he wrote it? Nothing, if he wrote it. Mr. Arrowsmith, listen, you... Edith, they have proofs of a conspiracy on our government telegraph lines. 